Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain for 2024. We're going to talk about some interesting things this year. We're going to start off with the Jewish tunnels in New York. Yes, we're going to step right into the deep water. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. The Jewish tunnels in New York. Welcome to Report from Tiger Mountain for 2024. We're going to be talking about lots of interesting things this year. We're going to start by talking about the Jewish tunnels in New York. If you're a Jewish tunnel watcher like I am, 2024 got off to a flying start, ladies and gentlemen, with some marvellous Jewish tunnels on display in New York City. It was the uh, Brooklyn Shabab uh, Temple Synagogue there, and uh, they had these lovely tunnels going on all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic stuff. If you're a tunnel watcher uh, like me, you think you're very impressed. Impressed. And everyone was was impressed by what was going. Apparently, the uh, the tunnels were built by students. Now, I'm not sure how they did that. Maybe they would sneak into synagogue, and they would sort of a bit like you know maybe the Great Escape. They would bring in some tools. They'd have a case, and then they'd sneak out, sneak at the back of the synagogue, and they'd start the tunneling, ladies and gentlemen. Start, and they, suddenly, and before you know it, they've got all these tunnels all over the place. I'm not entirely sure about the student story, but anyway, when the New York City Police Department came to shut down these tunnels, it was a, it was a terrible. A terrible event there was a kind of a riot uh, in Brooklyn there and uh, you know there were, there, there were uh, they, they pulled out soiled mattresses and they pulled out high chairs and they pulled out all this kind of stuff and they were kind of crawling out of the sewers all over the place mate so you know it was a very interesting event and um, you know it, it just happened to be opposite uh, where the synagogue is just happened to be opposite um, some kind of like I think some kind of Jewish child center or something like that of course that's just a coincidence and Jeffrey Epstein's house was only three or four blocks away. But again, that's just, that's nothing really worth mentioning. So I'm not sure why I did. Um, you know, this is all kind of rather interesting, isn't it? You know, I mean, one of the things about Pizzagate is that they would always talk about the tunnels, the tunnels, the tunnels. And I think, you know, most of them just saw, maybe they were just extending it. Maybe they needed a bit of, I don't know, maybe they just needed somewhere to store, um, you know, extra copies of the Talmud, who knows? But I think when they brought the uh, salt mattress and the uh, high chair out of there, people were like, what the hell is going on there? And uh, if you look that up too, it's interesting, that is now called fake news. You know, if you look up, was there a sold mattress? Now, we all saw the footage, but if you look that up though, if you look up sold mattress in the tunnels, um, uh, it's apparently that's fake news. So everything we all saw with our own eyes has now been memory hold uh, as officially fake news. So that's interesting, isn't it? So I mean, what's going on? I mean, you know, Let's be honest, it could be completely innocent. It could be that they just wanted, I don't know, maybe more storage, more storage place. I don't know, I don't know why they would dig tunnels. It's a very interesting question. Or there could be something nefarious going on here at the report from Tiger Mountain. We don't know the answer to these questions, but we do know if you are a Jewish tunnel watcher, 2024 has got off to a flying start.